If your filtering needs are complicated, I suggest using the advanced filter. It allows you to use all the filter combinations you could possibly imagine. In this example, the data from three products, A, G and H, need to be filtered. The aim is to only filter product A if the units for the product exceed 300. To specify these conditions, use the equals, more than, less than, greater or equal to, and less than or equal to signs. First, we need to add rows above the data table for the table headers, the same as in the table below. In our example, we need to add product and units. We also need to add rows above the data table for the criteria, each in a separate row. In our example, product A, product G, product H, more than 300. And also, we need to add one empty row between the table of criteria and the table of data. In our example, row 5. Select Advanced Filter from the Data tab. Then input the list range, which is our table of data and the criteria range, which includes headers. The advanced filter offers two filtering options. Either the filtered data will be hidden, or the data meeting the conditions will be copied to another location. We'll keep the default choice. Rows that don't meet the conditions are hidden, and it isn't possible to unhide them. We only know that the advanced filter has been used because of the numbering of the rows not being continuous, and the colour of the row digits now being blue. To disable the advanced filter, select Clear. Another example of using the advanced filter is to filter out unique product names from our list. To do this, select Copy to another location, change the list range to include only the column with the product names, Clear Criteria Range, and in the Copy to box, enter the address of the first cell that the list should start in. Finally, tick Unique Records Only and press OK. The result is a list where we can easily determine the number of product types, sum up the quantities of these products, or perform other operations. An alternative solution to this problem is to copy the column with the product names and use the Remove Duplicates tool. The usefulness of the advanced filter is more evident when we work on larger and more complex tables. Many filter options also offer pivot tables. Please appreciate all the work that has gone into the making of these video tutorials by the writers and editors. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment down below.